In the early 19th century, the developing United States was fragile and found itself once again at odds with the British Empire. The War of 1812 was a crucial moment in American history, culminating in one of the most audacious and destructive events ever to befall America. The burning of Washington, D.C. The events that led to the conflict between the United States and Britain were sown years earlier. The young American Republic bristled under British naval policies, particularly the practice of impressment, where American sailors were forced into service on British ships. Additionally, the British imposed trade restrictions that stifled American commerce. Tensions reached a boiling point in June 1812, when President James Madison, under pressure from war hawks in Congress, declared war on Britain. For the next two years, the war seesawed with neither side gaining a decisive advantage. However, in the summer of 1814, a series of British victories in Europe freed up seasoned troops to reinforce the British campaign in North America. Among these troops was Major General Robert Ross, who was tasked with leading an assault on Washington, D.C. By 1814, the War of 1812 had escalated dramatically. During the same period, the British Army had defeated Napoleon in Europe, a topic we've covered in one of our previous videos. With momentum, they completely redirected their seasoned troops to the American front. The British forces, numbering about 4,500 men, landed at Benedict, Maryland, and began their march toward Washington. The American defenders, led by Brigadier General William Winder, were ill-prepared and outnumbered. This shift in focus brought a new level of intensity to the conflict. In August of that year, British forces, commanded by Major General Robert Ross, launched a major offensive targeting the Chesapeake Bay area. The British troops advanced rapidly, defeating American forces at the Battle of Bladensburg on August 24, 1814. The American militia quickly fell apart under the British assault, opening a clear path to Washington, D.C. As the British forces approached the capital, panic spread among its residents. President James Madison, recognizing the imminent danger, fled the city along with his cabinet and other government officials. This sudden evacuation left Washington, D.C. with minimal defense and leadership at a critical moment. The departure of President Madison and key officials not only created a power vacuum, but also demoralized the remaining defenders and citizens. Without a coordinated defense strategy and sufficient military presence, the city was left vulnerable. On the evening of August 24, 1814, British troops entered Washington, encountering little resistance. They proceeded to set fire to numerous public buildings, including the White House and the Capitol, in an act of calculated destruction meant to cripple American morale. The First Lady, Dolly Madison, became a hero by saving a portrait of George Washington, ensuring it would not fall into the hands of the British soldiers. The burning of Washington was a devastating blow to American morale, but it was not the end of the story. In the wake of the attack, a fierce storm, possibly a hurricane, swept through the city, extinguishing the flames and causing further destruction. Some saw this natural disaster as divine intervention, a sign that the United States would rise from the ashes. In the months that followed, the war continued with mixed results. American forces achieved a significant victory at the Battle of Baltimore in September 1814 where the defense of Fort McHenry inspired Francis Scott Key to write The Star-Spangled Banner, a poem that would later become the American national anthem. Meanwhile, British forces shifted their focus to the Gulf Coast, culminating in the Battle of New Orleans in January 1815, where General Andrew Jackson's troops decisively defeated the British. In the years following the war, Washington, D.C. underwent a period of reconstruction and renewal, the Capitol and White House were rebuilt. The Treaty of Ghent, signed on December 24, 1814, officially ended the War of 1812, though news of the treaty did not reach America until after the Battle of New Orleans. The treaty essentially restored pre-war boundaries, with neither side making significant territorial gains. However, the war had lasting effects, particularly in terms of American nationalism and military strategy. The burning of Washington during the War of 1812 made America stronger and more united. Thank you for staying to the end. Subscribe to our channel for more stories that illuminate the past and inspire the future.